like a hell cut. Good afternoon, YouTube. I um got a package today. You can obviously tell what it is. Um, it's something a little different, or well, not different, but technically the same. I had this package before. Um, I did an unboxing of it before, but I said to myself, I think I'm going to do some of the things a little different with this one than I did with the one I did before. And the other one I did before was down cellar. So now I have my own desk and stuff. Um, you know, I didn't pull out my knife. So, basically, let's get to unboxing her. And I was thinking about putting, because they run, they run on nickel metal hydrates. So, and they usually do about 20, 22 on nickel metal hydrate. But I want to put it on this thing. And maybe do a speed test after I put it on this thing. So, and they only have bullet plugs. So, <clears throat> I bought this thing. As a bullet plug to Dean, so that way I can run my my light bulb. So let's get into her and go through her. A little different this time. Clean cut that time. Then you open it up. Oops. Oh, grip on okay. And it sits right there. So, box. One little box. Stick over there. Take this cardboard off. This one before but the motor burnt out in it so i bought it again because after the motor burnt out it kind of like faded off faded out from amazon and the price just kept fluctuating and then it just stopped and when I did have the money, it just like stopped. So I've noticed it came back, and eBay has it. So, like I said, that's basically where I get a lot of my purchases from, or eBay, because I can work with eBay. Sometimes I get some from Amazon. Sometimes I get them from Walmart. But, but let's get this off. Nice little shell. Pretty rugged. I like that. Maybe line it up. Now, which I say that most of my cars, and I never do. I end up scraping them up, breaking them, or whatnot. But whatever. You know? Put that there. And then we have the tag. That's easy to be cured. Basically, tells you how to connect your bullet plugs. That's basically what this is for. 
tells you which way to go with the bullet plugs. And there's the car. Basically, your steering servo it has a servo saver on it. Um, this is pretty tough. Um, the motor's back here. It's a 550 can. It's a brushed motor. Um, here's the ESC and receiver and everything. It's all like one together in this box. Looks like I'll have to undo these screws so I can get into the jumper. Uh, actually, the jumper right here. Maybe I can get to it. Um, let's see if I got needle nose pliers. Keep always, always opening them. I got needle nose pliers. I can probably grab those. Jumper with because my fingers are too fat. Ah, I don't feel it coming go sliding. It's all fixed. Um, that's what I got this for. It goes on here like so. Holy cow. That's tight. Here's your battery tray. It's in between in the middle. And you got this right here. And it slides right out. It's like a connecting port where it sits in there. Um, and then I can put this in like so. Probably put it in at an angle. So it sits. Well, there's something on. There. A little bit of play. There we go. Let's try to see what this in next. And then we'll slap that back in. That's why I do it now and I'll have to mangle with it. There's still a little gripping on it. Um, let's get this wing on. So 
it kind of doesn't look so ridiculous. This is an easy thing. And just Done. I don't even have to connect it right now because, and right here is the on and off switch. It is off right now. So, we'll put this, slap this back on. You gotta kind of like stick it in there. put little pull tabs on this but I'll put the blue ones because that's why I know blue car blue tabs I have been with all my newer vehicles I've been putting tabs like pull tabs on for these because it makes it easier for me all right so there's the car and here I'm pretty sure is like the controller and charger and all that. Here's the controller. You know, pretty much the same from the last one I had. I thought maybe with sure that they probably would uh, change it, but because Raycast's been changing all the remotes. It's the XR 2.4 Red Cat Racing Remote. And you get your steering switch, your reverse to normals, um, your steering trim, power button, batteries go underneath floor. And the good thing about this kit is. That they do the batteries. So I'm gonna open this. Let's check this out. That. And the bottom here is our charger for the nickel metal hydrate battery. Which the nickel metal hydrate battery that comes with it is a six cell. 2000 to 7.4 or 7.2 volt nickel metal hydrate. These are good for starters, but I'm now on uh, lipo, so manual obviously comes with the fire with the batteries and charter. Um, manual pretty good. Um, if you break anything on it, they have their own website where you can go and get replacements, replacement parts, which is a good thing now, because when I first started into the hobby, everything I broke, I would just tear it for parts and throw it away. Now, I can get right down to finding the part, buy it, wait for it, and put it in and put it back on the road. And just like the ZD Racing ZTX-10 I got. I broke an arm on it. I'm still waiting for the part. I ordered the part last week, so. I think about a month. 
least for month because it's coming from China, which I figured. So, right now, that's a shelf queen until that part comes in. So, in the process, I bought this to try out, try something a little different with it. Light. No connection with the battery yet. And this is like my arm off. This is a rear wheel drive because obviously it's all in the rear end. Um, yeah, I can connect it like this. out or anything and these you turn their remote on first and start okay. thought you would hear a beep down the road I may take that servo out and put a stronger one in there to kind of give it that zip zip so this should be straight usually I can tell by looking at it this should be straight Something about red cats when they put the, their trims and the remotes are backwards. So you gotta kinda eye it up. That's pretty nice. Take it outside, maybe do a quick run with it, turn the lipo. Because like I said, the last one I had I didn't run on lipo. I ran it on um nickel metal. Just tight. That's a good thing. So, there's the remote. There's the manuals. There's the battery. Came with it. The tag goes inside of it. Here's the tag that was on the remote. And this is the battery charger. I like to keep them because every now and then I like to swap it back over and run it on a nickel metal hydrate. And you see, you get about eight minutes runtime on the nickel metal. But I'll keep it maybe on lipo because then lipo runs longer and it makes it longer and faster. So there's your that. Get this garbage. So there's a Red Cat Piranha TR 10E, I believe they call it. There's a certain number to it. Oh, T TR 10, my bad. It's the TR 10. So it's the Red Cat Piranha TR 10. It's a two wheel drive um, brushed buggy. So we're going to take it outside. We're going to try it out. And maybe I might do a run review on it. Other than that, <clears throat> I hope you like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. You just stay safe, stay healthy out there, and you have a great day.